Okay, in this video, we're going to use a couple of things that we already learned in assembly language and try to uh, make a program to copy a string from one um, data field to another data field. So I have a variable called source and I'm going to say type byte because I'm going to use the string and the message inside of it is going to be hello and zero at the end. And then I have another one called target target and that is going to be type byte but this one it's going to be empty and we don't know what's inside of it because we're going to fill it. Um, then I'm going to my main and I'm going to move ESI to zero. If you remember we used this to uh, for indexing our arrays and then we had another thing ECX that we used for making the number of how many times our loop should run and for this one we can either use length of or size of because both of them are going to be the same and here I'm going to use length of source and let me tell you why they are the same because we are using byte and a size of is going to be the multiplication of number of elements that we have multiplied by um, the type of the data that we have and here our type of data is one so it is multiplied by number of our elements but it's still going to be the number of our elements and length sub is the same thing it's going to be the number of our elements so it doesn't matter if we use length sub or size of in this case and then we're going to put the label here which is l1 the start of our loop and what we are going to do we're going to move okay this is important we are going to use AL, which is type byte of EAX, and we're going to put source inside of source ESI, which is the first element of our source is going to be inside of our AL, which is the first, which is the byte and size of our register EAX. You can use any other register, it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to move target and again ESI index of ESI because um, both of them are going to be at index 0 and then we're going to move whatever is inside of AL which is the which is our source at 0 is going to go inside of our target so you might ask this question why we didn't put move target inside of source sorry move source inside of target the reason for that is memory to memory is not allowed inside of um, assembly language what you can do is register to memory or memory to register or register to register but not memory to memory so that's why we need an extra step for this one to make sure that we are allowed to make that move and then after that we are going to increment our ESI because if we don't increment our ESI all of them are going to be at index 0 so it's going to go the it's going to be H all the time it's going to just loop and be 1 2 3 4 5 5 time putting H at the beginning and keep overwriting H over and over again and at the end we're just gonna get 1 H at index 0 but we are going to increment ESI each time and this way uh, we're going to get to the next level. And what's going to happen at the end? We're going to loop. So loop L1 and that's it. We're going to loop the number of lengths of hello and we're going to put each one of the elements at uh, first index 0, then index 1, 2, and 3. Or maybe 4 as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes. Index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's build and run this. And we didn't get anything. And the reason for that is in no part of this we decided to display our target. So I'm going to move EDX target 
because we just want to see what's inside of our target. And don't forget the offset, offset of target. And we're going to call write string on it. OK, so our target is empty right now. But here, after our loop, it has to have hello in it. Now let's build and run it. And we get the hello. And that's it.